What's up guys? Welcome back to the Landmine University page. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through a sample workout. I'm going to be showing you a session that I completed with one of my athletes. He's a college football player. And what we're going to be looking at is a dynamic lower body day workout. Now the entire workout is going to be outlined for you guys down in the notes here, but uh, what we're going to focus on is the main lift section. So you're going to see clips of us hitting dynamic method coiled landmine deadlifts and then split cleans and what this is is an example of us going from a coiled exercise into a rotational exercise the whole focus for this workout is bar speed building that explosive strength and because we're focused on maximum force output we've got sub maximal weights and we're looking for like we said as much bar speed as possible so you see we're using elastic bands and in terms of our actual max split clean and jerk, we're using about 60% for the deadlift and about 50% for the clean. And that's uh, going off of that athlete's weights there. That's going to ensure that we're producing a lot of force, we're moving the bar fast, and we're building explosive strength in that range that we want to be working at. I'm going to show you guys five clips um, of us actually performing the exercises. Uh, and then the actual workout, we ended up doing eight rounds at that working weight. And then when we got done, we got into our assistance work. So lots of Nordic work and some lat work, uh, bodybuilding stuff at the end of the workout. So this is just a sample, an example. You guys can take elements of this and put it into your own program. Hope you guys enjoy this. Without any further ado, let's get into this workout.
All right, guys, that's it for the sample uh, workout here. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And as you can see, we're trying to go up tempo for that entire set. So from the coil deadlift, we get right into the split clean, take advantage of that potentiation. Um, and you're gonna be moving more explosively if you do it that way. And then what you don't see is the brakes. We're trying to rest usually no more than a minute. You should try to get in good shape when you're doing these workouts. And if you can keep the brakes down, but keep the bar speed up, then you can get a lot of work done in a short amount of time. That being said, your rest periods really are as long as it takes for you to move just as explosively for your next set. So you don't want to rush it to the point where you're not moving the bar as fast, um, but you don't want to rest for too long. You want to get in a good rhythm. Uh, you want to get a sweat going, keep your heart rate up when you're doing that dynamic method style of workout. Um, now, you could do that at the beginning of the week, then at the end of the week, you could do a heavier workout with a little bit longer breaks um, in terms of loading. And that's kind of a great way to look at like a West Side barbell template and uh, use it for what we're trying to do, which is move a little bit more athletically and try to layer more rotational movement into everything we're doing. There's also times when we do a power lifting set right into the landmine set. So as opposed to doing a coil deadlift, we might just do a traditional barbell squat and then go right into the landmine clean on our lower body day there. All right. Like I said, when we got done with that segment there, and that was after our mobility warm-up routine and our core work, got into that main lift that you just saw, and then we got into our assistance work, hypertrophy work. We did some Nordic hamstring curls and a bunch of lats on this day. Hope you guys enjoyed that sample workout. I'll see you next time at Landmine University.